today's video we will learn how we can create a pareto chart in excel the pareto chart is based on the 80/20 rule and by which we mean that 80% of the effects for a given cause come from approximately 20% of the possible causes in today's video we will learn how we can create this type of pareto chart from this data which is given to us now i'll just erase all of these things here this is the data that we are having the metal casting defects these are the defects and these are the values of the frequency the first thing that we'll do is then we'll right click in sort you'll find the option of custom sort here in sort by you'll keep it as frequency and order will be largest to smallest and then click on okay once it's sorted we'll create a new column which will be cumulative frequency and the next column that will create is percentage cumulative now here the first value will be equal to the value of the frequency which is we'll select the cell then press enter then again equal to select the cell plus we'll select the cell also then press enter then again we'll press equal to select the cell plus the cell enter then we can copy this now here we'll have to check this this should be equal to the total of the frequency we'll just select the frequency and from here we'll go to totals and click on sum so we have this which is matching 439 and 439 now we'll create a percentage cumulative column in which it will be equal to this 246 divided by the total value now here as this total value is same for all the defects so we'll write it as dollar b dollar 12 and then we'll press enter now as we want it in percentage here in the home tab you'll find this general option where you'll set it to percentage and we'll also decrease the decimal because i don't want any decimal places now you can copy this so we have got our percentage cumulative the next thing we'll do is we'll just select this select the cell first then press control plus shift side arrow and down arrow once we have selected the table from here also you can go to this charts option or else you can go to insert and from here you will find this 2d column in which clustered column chart you will find now here i'll select any of the axes and will double click once we double click we'll get this format data point here in the series option as i want to work with the series percentage cumulative so i'll just select that then from here go to the third option which is the series option in which you find this plot series on now we'll set it to secondary axis once we have set it to the secondary axis you'll find this its length has increased now we can right click on this axis and then here you'll find the option of change series chart type so here in the change series chart type from this is selected in combo in percentage cumulative we'll select the line chart which is line with markers we have already ticked the secondary axis 
now as you can see we'll get it like this and then click on ok once you have done we have got this axis we don't need the cumulative frequency axis so we'll just select that and press delete as you can see we have got our frequency and percentage cumulative axis first of all we'll change the chart style which you'll find in chart design here I'll just select this chart style you can select any of your choice then we'll just select this axis in home I'll just change the colors same way for this axis also I'll be changing the colors you can change it from here also format data series here you'll find it in color you can keep any color of your choice once you have changed the line color you can go to marker and you can change its color we have changed the marker border color now we'll change the field color also we'll keep it as solid field and we'll change the color then I'll select this grid lines here just select this and I'll delete it because I don't want it now I'll select this box right click in outline you can keep any outline of your choice and I'll also increase the weight then we'll select this series right click and you'll find this option of add data labels just click on that now we have got our data labels from here in series option series percentage cumulative just select the data label once you have selected the data label here you'll find one more option which is label options you can change the size and you can even change the alignment of the labels we'll go to the label options here in the label options I'll set it below so we have changed the label position one more thing that will change is we'll change the colors and also we'll make it bold and even we'll change the font size and font type I'll just keep it 10 once this is done we'll keep the same font size and font type for the entire chart so I'll just change that too now for the frequency or axis also we'll add the data labels just click on the axis then right click here and add data labels click on the add data labels click on the labels and again we'll set the color we'll just keep it white only we'll make it bold and we'll change the font size and font type then we'll add our ch chart title which is the metal casting defects we'll even change this the font size is ok 16 and font type will be times new roman once all of these things are completed I'll go to insert here in illustrations you'll find the option of shapes here we'll create a rectangle covering this 80% of the portion now just right click on this rectangle you'll find fill color which will make it as no fill in the outline I'll increase the outline weight I'll even change the outline color now again I'll go to insert and here in illustrations in shapes you can either select a call out or I'll just select an arrow and here I'll create this arrow and inside you can write it as vital few or significant few or we can even write the, it as the vital defects just set it 
we can even change the color you can right click you can change the fill color and also we'll change the font size and the font type and also we'll keep it as bold you can again increase this Now here for this cumulative frequency and percentage cumulative we'll keep it as this field colored same. So I'll just click on this format painter and here I'll set this. Then again I'll click on format painter and I'll set this. Once this is done we can again select this and we can set the borders. Now as this is done go to view and here just turn off this grid lines headings and formula bar then we'll go to file and we'll as pdf and this is how you can create the pareto chart in excel thank you